Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a flip through, an overview, and my first impressions of exploring creation with Zoology 2, Swimming Creatures of the Fifth Day. So I have the textbook as well as the student notebooking journal here to show you guys. And we really enjoy Apologia's sciences here in our home. We have a long history using the curriculum for both our elementary kids and our middle and high school kids as well. And we just have enjoyed every single thing that we've ever used from Apologia. So this curriculum is going to present the science of sea creatures. It's gonna be oceanography and marine biology. It's written in a God-honoring way using a Charlotte Mason method in their writing. Um, it's a study intended for kindergartners through sixth graders and there's also a student notebooking journal for K through six. It is now just one notebooking journal. If you remember any of the Apologia Elementary Sciences from the past, you might have seen that there were two notebooking journals, a junior notebooking journal and then a standard student notebooking journal. Uh, now it's all been combined into one for all of those ages, so you don't need to have separate types of notebooking journals if you are teaching K through sixth graders together, which is nice. So there's just the one notebooking journal for all ages. Um, and it's engaging. One of my favorite things, and I'll mention this a ton when I'm showing you guys inside, is just that it's interactive, engaging, it's beautifully written, the colors are bright, and they catch your attention. There's lots of hands-on activities and experiments. It's really fun, and it keeps my kids' interest. We actually used an Apology of Science for my oldest when she was in kindergarten, and it was my first introduction to it. We were a part of a co-op that used Apology of Science, and um, I was so impressed because she was in kindergarten that year, and she was sitting in a class with kids, I believe they were up till fifth grade, and I was so encouraged that we were able to use one textbook, um, teach one lesson to all of those ages, and then they could go through their notebooking journal and adapt it to each individual child. So it kept everyone's interest. It was challenging enough for the older ones. It was a good introduction for the younger ones. So I have kept that in mind. And as I see fit, we have used their elementary sciences for our younger children. So this year, as I mentioned, my fifth grade son will be doing this curriculum this year, two days per week. I love that it's uh, formatted to be two days per week. If that's what fits your family, you can adapt it however you'd like to. Um, but we will be using it two days a week this year, and this is the one that he chose. I gave him free reign. I let him check out the website and pick which curriculum he wanted to do this year for his fifth grade year as he prepares for the middle school sciences here in a couple of years. And he really wanted to do the swimming creatures science. So we are going to have a fun year with this this year. So without further ado, here is a flip through and a peek inside what the lessons look like, what the notebooking journal looks like, and what you can expect using this course. If you guys are interested, I will leave a link in the description box down below where you can check out the website and see even more than I'm showing you today. All right, let's flip the camera around and look inside. Swimming Creatures of the Fifth Day, second okay, edition. Okay, so we have Exploring Creation with Zoology 2, which is the Swimming Creatures of the Fifth Day curriculum. We have the textbook, as well as the notebooking journal. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the textbook here. I have always loved Apologia's curriculum because it is so bright, it is so colorful, it's engaging. There's tons of smaller sections to read mixed in with some experiments and graphs and charts and pictures and it's just very engaging and that has always been something starting in kindergarten with Isabella my oldest I actually used botany that very first year and from that point on we have always had a kid in Apologia whether it be an elementary age child or a middle or high school age child um, Apologia across the board has always kept their interest and I really credit that to just the style that they use in their textbook. So beginning here you have a table of contents for each lesson. There are 14, yes, 14 lessons here in Zoology 2 and then it gives you an introduction and some information and I absolutely love this. How could you not? Apologia's prayer for you. Amazing colorful chart here days of creation which goes through 
some of their different um, curriculum as well. So again, this is Swimming Creatures of the Fifth Day, Go Day Five, God Created Sea Creatures and Birds. And then you start right into the lessons. Now again, just observe this for a second and tell me that as a child, so my, my fifth grade son is using this this year, tell me that this is not going to keep your interest. Creation confirmation is one of my favorite components of Apology of Science. You have diving deeper here. There's a scripture. Vocabulary words are bold. Lots of pictures. Just so interesting. Here's an activity. And then we get into another activity. And what I love about this is that as you're reading through, they come up to these activities in their notebooking journal and it's just laid out the same. It's in the same order, so there's no hopping back and forth. It's all going to be seamless for them to go from reading to their notebooking journal to the reading to the notebooking journal. It's all gonna follow the same format. So there won't be any question about where do you stop reading, where do you do the experiment, things like that. Then another creation confirmation, current events. At the end of the chapter here, you have this. What do you remember? That just gives them a, an option to work on what I call narration, but they can just um, keep record of what they remember throughout the chapter. And then we move on to another lesson. So we're gonna pop through here say lesson nine, same thing, so interesting, so bright, broken down into some smaller segments here, activities, full page activity, right? And then um, some fun options for them. So after you are done with these lessons, you then get to an appendix, supply list. Now this is really helpful to have this and to prepare as much of this ahead of time as possible if you don't purchase one of the um, experiment or lab kits that you can get from a different seller. Um, if you are going to do this yourself, I would definitely recommend and really appreciate that Apologia laid this out back here. It gives you everything specifically, 33 index cards, blue paper, four identical glass cups, 30 feet of 100% cotton yarn. So this way you can spend some time preparing for your entire year by getting as many of these things as possible. Here is the answer key for the what do you remember which is really helpful. And then the activity answer key as well. Very, very helpful to have that quick reference there before the index. All right, so then moving on to the notebooking journal. The Apologia Science notebooking journals have always been one of my favorite things. Um, I have a great time peeking through it myself before my kids get a chance to peek through it. And the younger, the elementary levels, the Exploring Creation um, series that they have for kindergarten through sixth graders, the notebooking journals include a lot of like cutting and pasting and fun activities. And so this has been something that we've enjoyed whenever we have used this for that age. So you have a table of contents, some information before you begin. And then what I really like is that it's a two day a week suggested schedule. You can totally adjust this to fit your family's needs as it says there. But one thing that I love so much is that it's broken down exactly what to do each day. So you have week six is lesson three. Uh, so then it says to read the textbook page 64 through 68 do activities 3 7 and 3 8 and the notebooking journals page 72 through 73 so we're gonna go to week 6 lesson 3 and pages 72 to 73 and there we have it this is gonna match up exactly with so it's 64 through 68. So 
we go here to pages 64 through 68. And there you have it. That is exactly what they're gonna come across. This activity, this reading, this reading, this activity, some reading, and the end of this. What is something you found most interesting today? Tell someone you know. So that's where they would stop. And that's what's listed out here in this suggested weekly schedule. So this is really helpful as the parent to be able to make this as open and go as possible. There's a parent guide, which is really helpful. Coloring pages, which I really enjoy um, these coloring pages because it's supposed to be, like they can color while they listen to the lesson being read or they can color while they discuss what they're learning. So it's not assigned to the daily schedule, but it's just an option for them if you have a student who's gonna learn better that way, which is really helpful, especially if you're using this with multiple ages. There's the fascinating facts and personal reflections pages, which my kids have always enjoyed copying down some fascinating facts as well. They have the um, activity documentation pages, additional activity pages, vocabulary review pages, creativity pages, where they can choose to read outside materials, watch videos, visit places that are relevant to their lessons. We live at the beach, and so this is going to be uh, a well-loved section of the book for us. Um, and then there's also what do you remember review questions, which I mentioned at the end of each lesson. They're not a test, it's just a review. And then nature journaling pages, which is really neat. Um, so this is for them to document their time learning about creation. Uh, creation confirmation bookmark to help them mark their place in the textbook and gives them a space to write their thoughts about God as they read about swimming creatures throughout the year. And then here's lesson one. So there's the coloring page, an example of the coloring page. Really nice wide ruled lines here, a place for them to draw a picture. So this is where they can record their fascinating facts um, as they're reading through the text here. And they just, there's no corners cut here as far as the quality of this. I wish I could like get the quality to transfer through the camera. But like, look at this, look at how bright it is. Look at how interesting it is. Um, it's just something that the, the quality of the curriculum is something that has always caught my attention because it doesn't have to be so great, right? But for my kids, they've always appreciated that. I've always appreciated that. And it just makes it easier to open a book and learn and pay attention and stay focused. Okay, so here's nature journaling. Um, here, just letting you know that it's got a special section of the book um, to do nature journaling. There's some places for them to record the activities that they're doing. Here's the what do you remember. So if you can recall the what do you remember page that I showed you in the textbook, um, here is the place where they can record that if they aren't doing it on a separate piece of paper. And then the mini books are really fun. So this is a lot of, like I said, it's cutting and pasting and it's something that they can keep. Crosswords, word banks, puzzle clues, um, vocabulary, really helpful. Creativity page, again, scrapbook page of learning about aquatic animals, and then you move on. So really just nice. Here's like a little flip book, mini book that they'll be working on. And oh, this is a whale guess who game. That's fun. Um, some a grid that they can make. There's another coloring page. So this is just so neat. So neat, so inviting, so colorful, bright, engaging, and thorough. It's very thorough. Um, and I love, again, that you're gonna get uh, good note-taking opportunities, good review, good crafts, and um, you know smaller crafts like the cutting and the pasting and the scrapbooking, but you're also going to have that creation confirmation woven throughout everything that they're doing, which is incredible. And I, I remember we were doing land animals, I believe it was, when something really clicked for my second oldest child in regards to scripture and science. And it just opened a whole new world for him. And so I, I 
anticipate and expect and get excited about those moments for each of my kids doing apology of science. Just the, the way that scripture and Bible history is woven in to science as creation confirmation as they're learning about each, you know, component of science is unbelievable and it's just seamless and I just think that is the best way to learn science um, and to connect it to creation. So it is exciting for me that we are going to be doing the same thing with swimming creatures this year. So beautiful pictures, beautiful illustrations, high quality, and that is a peek inside of the notebooking journal for um, the swimming creatures of the fifth day zoology here. And then here is the nature journal here in the back. So just opportunity for them to journal on these pages. And then you have these solutions in the back here. Should you need to check them? I will need to check them. <laughs> and there's that. So I hope you guys enjoy taking a peek inside of the new Zoology 2 Swimming Creatures notebooking journal and textbook. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave those in the comments down below. I will link this in the description box down below. Thank you so much, Apologia, for working with me on today's video. We are so excited to enter into using another year of Apologia this year in our homeschool.